The British are world leaders at queuing, and it's just as well. There was a closed-door policy to filming at the passport office in London, and most of the people I met outside were unhappy customers. It's a bit of a, a, bit of a liberty, but, you know, you've got to do what you've got to do. There's no way around it, is it? You know, they want to make the money, you've got to do it. The well, government today is saying that they won't charge the extra, so we'll see what you get told in there. Actually, if they don't charge the extra, I'll give you half when I come out. But I'm not open free. <laughs> That's it, open free. It was very smooth. I went in, I checked in, um, I got seen on time, and as you can see, it took me about 20 minutes, and I'm coming back after four for my passport, so very happy. I go on holiday end of this month, and I feel like I've had to come in and do this. And where have you come from? Southampton. Uh, I've come from Nottingham today, got up early in the morning to come here. Um, inside, it's quite unorganised. I had to pay the full amount again. I had to pay the full whack. I had to pay the full whack. They didn't mention a discount. So no discount, so I couldn't give you no money, unfortunately. Down the road at Parliament, the Home Secretary arrived to make an emergency statement. The original denials of a backlog at Her Majesty's Passport Office, HMPO, were now history. There is no big bang single solution, so we will take a series of measures. So we will take a series of measures to address the pinch points and resourcing problems HMPO faces. On Tuesday, she told us the passport office was meeting all its targets. On Wednesday, she told us maybe they needed more staff. Today, she says maybe they need some changes in policy too. On Tuesday, she told us there was no backlog. On Wednesday, the Prime Minister said there was. These are today's changes. If someone has an urgent need to travel, then they'll be fast-tracked free of charge. Also, British expats who need a renewal will be given a 12-month extension to their existing passport so they can return to the UK. And people overseas with children who need passports will be issued with emergency documents. So some parts of the process are being relaxed, but security checks are not. Leaked passport office documents aiming to clear the backlog did not amuse the Home Secretary, and she ordered a U-turn last night. Meanwhile, there's also been a spat over responsibility for expats between the Foreign Office and the Home Office. It is an unseemly show, and one that plenty of people are having to queue for. Simon Viger, Five News.